All right, hello, Professor. My name is Samuel Johannes, and I'm going to be doing my persuasive speech about um, how about racial equality in the U.S. Um, so my specific purpose is to persuade my audience that racial equality in in representation in the U.S. is still a work in progress. My central idea is understanding how police brutality, the American media, and the dominance of white supremacy all contribute to the racialized deception of the U.S. So for my introduction to start, um, to raise awareness and demand change, signs such as protect all black lives and racism in so many American that will, when you oppose to it, people think you're, you're pro protesting America, were paraded in the streets of several American cities. I don't think many Americans recognize as of June, 2022, that racial acts are so prominent and being more common. Two summers ago, the sad murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor, all of whom are all of whom were unarmed black individuals, drew widespread attention in the US. Their awful deaths demonstrate how little America has evolved. It reflects America's issues with police brutality, the media, and white supremacy's influence. So to, to so to transition to my body. Let's begin by diving into an article by the author Heather Yarish that sh that shows her findings on how the on how the, re the representation in American media hinders Black people. So, for my body for the first one, Yarish is seeking to point out there is a racial divide in the news when it comes to white demonstrators versus Black rights. It goes on to illustrate how media outlets enable racist overtones in the news they broadcast to Americans. The racialized deception demonstrates how black people are the villains in the situations, yet yet white do the same or worse. They are simply being noisy and can be never and can never be anything more. This has an impact how people perceive black people in the future. The author observes a trend that follows American news um, that follows American news channels after protests and the extent to which has influenced Americans to this day. To, to, to transition again, the certain pattern of racialized representation feeds into how black people struggle with everyone around them being tone deaf to their struggles. This brings to me a situation re re revolving around Kendall Jenner and the Pepsi company in 2017. The problem was that they staged a protest to halt it with Kendall Jenner walking through the mob to reach the besieged, the, the besieged cops and offering them a Pepsi drink. The cops accept and everyone applauds because their entire protest has been revolved. Problems aren't solved by handing out Pepsi drinks to everyone, especially since it was prompted by the Black Lives Matter marches. In a variety of ways, Pepsi has failed to properly analyze the rhetorical situation, failing to represent the theme of protests owing to Pepsi's company and Kendall Jenner's insufficient ethos. They fail miserably because Kendall Jenner is an, is an affluent white woman whose platform has nothing to do with the message they were attempting to convey. I'm not sure how a beverage and a snack company decided Kendall Jenner and them would be the right, repre the right representative for the Black Lives Matter movement. Even though this ad appears to be about nothing more than bringing peace with Pepsi's perspective, it is nonetheless insensitive and inaccurate about the realities of protests and law enforcement. This demonstrates how racialized portrayal caused society to become deaf to Black people's light. To transition again to uh, whether you are a minority or not, the media covers different types of protests and police violence. The rise and, mag and the rise in the magnificence of racism and police violence in the U.S. is articulated in an article by Stephen A. Schwartz. This essay delves into so into society's racial issues in depth. One of the major points raised in this article is how racially prejudiced law enforcement is. Quote. The rate of deadly police shootings among Black Americans was far greater than any other ethnicity, standing at 30 fatal shootings per million of the population as of June 2020. 
the author writes Schwartz 280. Knowing that this figure reveals even a smidge of racial bias among law enforcement is extremely painful. Given that our 44th president was an African American, one would think that, pre that racial prejudice would improve, but they did not because of our 45th president personified white supremacy. Transition. This brings me to, to Donald Trump's acts in creating white supremacy during his time as president, for which black people continue to pay. Ibrahim X. Kendi writes on how Trump and his supporters are protecting an American in America where white men can rule and brutalize about consequence in one of his play, in one of his pieces. Because of, because of society, white men already have a great status than everyone else. And the fact that everyone are trying to change that while Trump continues to fuel it is simply awful. White male supremacy permits the, the president and other white males to say and do nefarious things with no or minimal consequences. When they hear Black Lives Matter, no justice, no peace, Kendi adds, they hear the noises of violent acts on their supremacy. They visualize their property burning and they see their America under threat. It demonstrates that they oppose equal rights for everyone because they believe that they are not equal to a black person. Anti-racism anti fears they have reinstilled by Trumpism. The, the, ju the justice for all that America claims to stand for has been tainted by Trump's government. Racial tensions and inadequate news that Trump would inform his supporters would not only affect black communities, but all of people of color in the US. To conclude this, the, the, recent, the recent protests in response to the killings of unarmed black men and women have brought attention to the country's many problems. More light needs to shed on the history of what has happened to black Americans so that people may realize the true truth that the US has been attempting to throw under the rug. The media and people like Trump's rhetoric has resulted in a slew of, in a slew of, 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 of catastrophic of, of, of catastrophes for the black community as a whole. As highlighting how the US is still grappling with how police brutality, American media and white supremacy's dominance all contribute to the country's racist depiction. And that'll be my presentation about my persuasive speech.